let's talk about SAP Business Technology Platform. Hi, I'm Ian Thane. Welcome to another SAP Co-Talk. And I'm really pleased to have Cecilia Wego with me. Cecilia, I saw you on TechEd where you actually excelled on Channel One. Introduce yourself to our uh, Co-Talk audience. Hey, Ian. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for that great intro. So yeah, I'm Cecilia Wego, and I'm actually part of the product management team for SAP Business Technology Platform. Um, so yeah, my day-to-day -day is really interacting with customers and with internal stakeholders to explain the value of the business technology platform, specifically regarding extension suite and integration suite. Perfect. So we are going to do something which I think uh, we're only a, about a week away from the announcement, but I wanted to catch you and I wanted to do this with you so that the developer audience can really sort of be certain which what everything is all about. And that is all around SAP Business Technology Platform. Cecilia, what is it and why the change? Yeah, so those are like two great questions. And they're actually questions that we've been receiving a lot lately ever since the announcement. Um, in simple terms, SAP Business Technology Platform is our open multi-cloud platform that customers can use and leverage for their different um, use cases related to database and data management, related to analytics, related to um, integrating or implementing intelligent technologies, and also integration and application development. So those are the four main capability categories that we have under the business technology platform. Now, why the change? And again, this is a question that we've been receiving a lot lately. Um, it's not so much a change as really kind of a, a moving forward and really trying to solidify the one platform strategy that SAP has. So I think it's it's been, you know, it's, it's easy to, to see for quite a while now that we kind of had a platform on platform problem. Um, and this was kind of a, a concern or a question that really came up a lot in customer presentations and also with internal stakeholders as well. Like what's the difference between SAP Cloud Platform, Business Technology Platform, why do we have two platforms, why isn't it just one? So really with this kind of change and the rebranding and the sunset of the SAP Cal Platform brand, what we've done is really solidify the business technology platform as the platform for SAP. So it's the foundational layer of the intelligent enterprise strategy, meaning that not only do we use it internally, like the intelligent suite, for example, all the cloud applications, S4 HANA as well, they are going to be based on business technology platform for extensions and integrations, but it's also what our customers use to extend those applications as well. So it's also their, yeah, it's really the foundation, the techn technological foundation for reaching the intelligent enterprise. I think you may have alluded to the, uh, the answer to the question I'll ask you next, but I'm going to ask you anyway. So what's happened to the SAP Cloud Platform? Yeah, so SAP Cloud Platform, the brand, so the name, the brand is Sunset, right? So we're no longer using the SAP Cloud Platform brand. However, the capabilities, the features, the runtimes, the services, the tools, everything that was related to SAP Cloud Platform is still available, yeah? so. Basically, what we've done is we said, okay, let's take away the cloud platform brand, but let's focus on the capabilities. Let's focus on integration and extension. So now what you'll see is the SAP integration suite and the SAP extension suite, which hold kind of as, as umbrella terms, all the services, the runtimes, the APIs, the tools, everything that was used by developers before and can continue to be used to build up applications on the platform, deploy them to the platform, and also integrate um, data, integrate processes, integrate applications as well. So again, I just want to make sure that everybody understands that even though the brand is sunset, the features, the capabilities, everything is still there. Well, you mentioned that, you mentioned the services, and let's pick up on the services. What names should we use now for the services that we've, you know, we've used in, in the past? Yeah, so another great question and something that's come up a lot in social media lately. Um, it's 
we've tried to let's let's say and maybe some people will, will come at me at the com uh, come at me in the comments but we've tried to simplify the naming structure right so before for example you had sap cloud platform workflow management we've removed the cloud platform brand and we just kind of um, sent that up to the sap main brand so now it's sap workflow management um, and that's happened across the board for the majority of the services there are some cases where we really wanted to kind of pinpoint the relationship to BTPs, for example, for the runtimes. So there we have SAP BTP Kima runtime or SAP BTP Cloud Foundry runtime. Because that's really, we wanted to make that connection. Um, there are also some cases where we had kind of a conflict or confusion with on-premise solutions. So there we added, for example, cloud. So for transport management, you have SAP Cloud Transport Management. But we don't expect everybody to memorize these names or memorize what I'm <laughs> saying right now. Um, so actually, if the um, if anybody goes to um, the Discovery Center and checks out the service catalog, all the names are already update, updated on there. So you can just you know look for the the service that you're that you're thinking about, click on the tile, and then you're going to be able to see what the actual long name is. So including the brand SAP or SAP PTP or whatever it is, and then have all the um, underlying information like the features, and you can also check out the documentation and all that good information that you're looking for. Great, great name check for the Discovery Center. What's the, what's the scope of the business technology platform? Yeah, so business technology platform, like I mentioned before, is really the foundation of the intelligent enterprise. So the scope goes across database and data management. It goes across analytics. It includes intelligent technologies. It includes everything you need for integration, everything you need for application extens extensions. So really it is the platform. It's the basis for everything. So um, BTP will include things like SAP HANA Cloud. It will include SAP Data Warehouse Cloud. It includes SAP Analytics Cloud. And of course, the integration suite and the extension suite. It includes um, conversational AI, intelligent robotic process automation. Everything um, resides on BTP, on our one platform. Um, and really kind of like, like I was mentioning, it's not really a change, kind of more a move forward or an advancement into our solidification of BTP as a platform. It's because we really want to make sure that all these solutions that I just mentioned, all these products, all these services really do work together in the best way possible. Are we 100% there? No, we're not. It's still kind of work in progress, mm -hmm. um, but we're really trying to kind of bring the strategy together, bring all the teams together internally, and also be able to improve the, um, the collaboration and integration of all these areas externally for our customers and partners as well. Okay, I wanted to bring these questions together because you know the developer audience is, you know, humans and especially developer audience, we hate change, you know, change happens. It's an evolution, you've said it's an evolution. So I've got to ask you this question. So I'm a developer, what does it mean with regard to how I build applications and extensions that I did before now? So today, nothing. I mean, nothing has changed. Again, all you're going to see is a few name changes here and that here and there. So for example, um, in the next coming weeks, when you log into the cockpit, so it was formerly SAP Cloud Platform cop cockpit, now it's going to be SAP BTP cockpit. But the features, the functionalities, how you interact with the cockpit, all the like the APIs you can use, the CLI, everything that you're used to using is still there and will be maintained and will be supported in the future. So that's not going away. You're still going to be able to build applications like like you used to. Um, the, the only other thing that's going to change is when you go into, for example, like the service marketplace, um, you're going to see different, you're, you know, you're not going to see the SAP Cloud Platform name in those in those services anymore. But the services are there, the features are there, the usage is there, the consumption is the same. Um, you're still going to have, you know, your CPA, you're still going to have your subscription base. So really the usage of how you build and how you interact with the platform is still the same. The only thing that will change is that it's going to get better in the future because like I mentioned, we're gonna to try to really bring in all those other capabilities on BTP to have just one platform where you can do your analytics, you can do your database and data management um, capabilities, you can infuse intelligent technologies. And yes, we do have those aspects a little bit in there already, but the experience is not kind of the best end-to-end -end experience that we want. And that's really what we want to achieve with this one platform strategy with BT. Excellent. Cecilia, it's been absolutely fantastic hanging out with you. Thank you so much for explaining so clearly to us all. And I'm sure we're going to have you back in the future. Thanks very well, much for joining me. Yeah, I'd love to be back. Thanks, Ian. <laughs>